What's up guys and welcome to a new video. Now we have something very special for you today. Uh, I'm not sure when we're going to be posting this video because I only want to post it once Pagani have released what's going on and the people around us here right now don't currently know what this car is. But I thought I'd make a video to talk to you about it, show you, just do a quick walk around because it is an extremely special car. This is the latest and greatest from Pagani. This is the Huara Imola and it is an absolute animal. So based on the Huara coupe platform, uh, Huara BC, it's a hardcore version of that. There are only going to be five built worldwide um, ever and it is just a total BC. It's a hardcore version, as I said, of the BC, um, even more track focused and it's just got some incredible design features. Now it's called Imola, like the famous racetrack and that is where it should be launched originally, I thought. Um, so we're going to wait until it gets launched officially by Pagani to post this video. Now it is a stunner. This one finished in a beautiful grey and exposed carbon fibre. Now it's got a whole new front splitter. This is the great thing about Pagani. Even though they're only making five of these, they don't just make small changes. They completely rethink the aerodynamics outside. So huge splitter. <clears throat> I mean this comes out a solid 20 centimetres in front of the front of the car. So all the orange accents are meant to show the new aerodynamic details on the car, so for example, these little winglets. Those are meant to direct air into the front radiators. Now we've obviously got another little intake here. Very race car, Le Mans like this. And so inspired by those Le Mans cars. Looks gorgeous, especially finished in the orange. So the split, as you can see, extends all the way around and then even has a little under splitter which comes out. That is new. That was not seen on the BC. On the BC, it actually came up here. You know what? Conveniently, we've actually got a BC right here that we can show you. So see how the splitter comes up here on the BC? Completely different. Um, and also how much less it pokes out. Now, it's also got air vents which come in here. Again, never seen before. This is special to the uh, Imola. So this whole front bit has been redesigned. Now these air intakes here, those we've seen before. Those are on the BC. Um, now, it's got a much, much wider, huge side skirt. And the side skirt actually has loads of details on it. So see, it's got this winglet here, meant to direct air in through to, ah, there you go, you've got a light on call so you can see it, into that air vent right there. So this is all designed to cool down the engine. Massive twin turbo V12. Now, it's also got these little air outlets here, um, contrary to, to what you think, and this is all designed, again, to be able to push the car down into the ground. You can see it's completely different to what is on the BC here. So the BC doesn't have any of those outlets. It has got that air intake there, but it doesn't have any of the outlets, and that is a whole new design. Now, where it really starts becoming properly intense is things like these. These air vents have become a lot bigger, completely finished in carbon, but mainly this rear diffuser. I mean, the rear diffuser is just enormous with these just literally holes through to the tire. Um, I mean, that is just to get turbulent air away from the, the tire. Um, and it's just got these huge, um, this huge diffuser right here with these massive slats that is meant to suck the car down into the ground. Obviously, everything finished in carbon. But now, just to give you a little bit of perspective, this is the VC diffuser, which is obviously massive, but nowhere near as BC and it's still got that hole through to the tire but everything is just sort of dumbed down a little bit. That is a BC turned up to 11. Much bigger wing and the big news is this is the first warrior with a famous roof scoop. The Pagani roof scoops which are so beautiful. It's also got a shark fin around back. That's the direct air to the uh, rear spoiler right there. Um, so this roof scoop is amazing. First on the choir, and I just think it looks absolutely gorgeous. It's also had uh, the glass removed on the roof. Um, so on the BC, for example, there is glass here. That is all carbon fiber now. Um, and all in all, it means for a really, really special car. Um, this is going to be around 800 horsepower. Um, and well over a thousand newton meters of torque. So really, really, really cool. The latest, greatest from Pagani. Um, we were stood next to it here, having a poke around, and uh, decided that it was worth making a video for you guys. On the inside, not much has changed. This one's got loads of matte carbon. It does have all of these signatures right here. So I assume, I'm not sure, but I assume those are all of the signatures of people who worked in the car. Um, but it's got, yeah, uh, are those signatures? I'm not sure. We obviously haven't seen the inside yet, the car um, but it's got some sort of art on the on the inside and then the Imola logo on the seats there 
Um, the seats are slightly less designy than in the BC, so you don't have all the holes and gaps that you do in the in the BC. These are slightly more chunk focused. But anyways, that is the Imbla. Quick walk around. I hope uh, you guys enjoyed it. Um, it is literally. <laughs> Right now, but this is Pagani's latest and greatest.